In this video tutorial, we're going to talk about checking your reference list for APA in EndNote. Hopefully you have the APA book that has the fifth edition and all the different ways those are supposed to be. And hopefully you also have some kind of document showing the new APA style for electronic references. Having these in examples in front of you as you work through your reference list is just really helpful. All right, the first thing you want to do is go into EndNote and actually sort this reference list. So I'm in the EndNote and I'm in my major lit review file and these tabs across the top can be used to sort. So I'm going to scroll over here and go to reference type and I'm going to click it and it's going to sort. Now I have all my books together, all the electronic articles together, journal articles, theses, etc. All right, so the first type we're going to look at is books. And what we want to do with the books is just click on them and see if they're right. So there's a couple things you want to check. This happens, um, some things that can happen when you're bringing it in from a database. One is the author. Sometimes the authors, if there's multiple authors, they're listed weird in here. And it's because they need to be listed like this with the last name, comma, first name, and then a new line, last name, comma, first name. So check all those. Sometimes I like to just run through mine just using my down arrow and look at like just the author of, of all the books. So that's one thing you can do. You'll want to look at the date. Usually there's not an issue with that. The title, make sure these are all lowercase and make sure you have the city, the state, the state without any um, dots in it, periods, and then the publisher. And you can again run through and look at these. One of the things that can happen is sometimes this will come in from a database and it's missing the publisher information. So once in a while I've had to actually Google the publisher and find out the city and enter that in. One of the things that you can use also is again you double click to open the record and then when you're done changing it just if you like to be really quick you can just do control S to save and control W closes that window <coughs> here in Windows and then you're back to your list again. So that's a nice way to move quickly through. Alright, so let's talk next about checking journals. And we'll go back into EndNote. <clears throat> and I'm going to scroll down and find my set of journal articles. <clears throat> and what we want for each of these is the title, the date, the um, actual title of this, um, the, the author, the date, the information for the title and the journal it comes from, the number and issue and page numbers. And so you can again just quickly go through these, see if there's anything weird. Again, look at the authors, look at the date, make sure you have page numbers in all of them. I've had some where the page number ended up being in, different, in a different place or it would have a start page and number of pages and so sometimes you'll have to edit that to get those correct. And using the same principle you can just scroll through these and look at them to see which ones are right and which ones need editing. Alright, we talked in another tutorial about how to check your electronic journals. And let's just go look in the APA electronic reference style, that new PDF that you can purchase, and see what these are supposed to look like. It's basically the same as another journal. Our author, date, title, journal that it comes from, the issue number, volume, all that, page numbers, and then the DOI needs to be at the end. If you don't know how to do that, you can go and get um, look online at my other tutorials and learn about the DOIs. You can also, sometimes if you have a journal that's only online, um, you sometimes have to put in the URL. So if it doesn't have a DOI, then you have a URL. All right, so that's how to check our electronic journals. And let's go to look at some of these and just check them over. I have them all in here as the electronic reference type. So there's one that's got a DOI. And again, we're checking the titles, author, 
making sure we have all the right numbers in there, page numbers are correct, etc. There's one that's only online in, uh, on a website. All right, so next let's talk about checking dissertations. And let's go again and look at the APA electronic reference. Probably you're getting most of your dissertations from ProQuest data, Digital Database Online. And if so, then this is how you need to reference them with the title, where it came from, and this accession number. And if you need more information on how to do this, I have another tutorial on this as well. Okay, so let's go back to EndNote and just make sure that my theses set are good. And again, you can just run through these, check the author. That one looks a little weird. It's got too many letters in it. Although with the nature of that name, that probably is right, but it might be good to check it. And you'd go back to where you got it in the first place. It's likely that that one needs some more work. All right, and you can see most of these I have fixed. A lot of them I have digital dissertation instead of dissertations. So I'm going to be editing these. Again, to edit them, you just double click on it. I'm going to use my scroll button on my mouse to just scroll down quickly, come down here to the name of the database, edit it, Control S, Control W, and I'm back to my list. So you can work through a set very quickly this way. All right, let's do web references next. This is definitely an area where you want to check the APA electronic references because they have information on several different types. But the principle is basically kind of like this one. This is a report example. Again, author, date, title of the document. If it is uh, the final version of the document, you no longer have to put the date for when you retrieved it. Now we just need to see where it came from. And if it's in a passworded site, they prefer to have just the first part of it. So you'll want to check that to see which ones you need the full URL and which ones you need just a piece of it. All right, let's go over to EndNote and look at some of my web references. And I don't claim to have these all right. This is obviously a learning process. So let's just look at some of these. All right, I've got who published it, what the title is, retrieved from the link that it came from. Sometimes it wants what kind it is. So again, make sure you go to the APA electronic reference and check those and run through them all like you did. All right, and it's a good idea to do this right before you turn in a paper or a dissertation chapter. But after you've checked everything in EndNote, how do you get those updates into your document? So I'm going to go over to Word and show you here is my proposal. And what I'm going to do is click this link right here, Format Bibliography. So I already have it already in here, but if I click Format Bibliography and then I'm just going to click OK, now it's making this little, see it's working through, formatting the bibliography, checking all the in-text citations based on the changes I made, and now everything is fixed. So I know for sure that one thing I did since then was get the S in Pro ProQuest Digital Dissertation. Maybe I didn't, but usually that will come in. Let me just update field as well. Sometimes that'll fix it. Also, sometimes I have struggled with this a, li a little, is closing out of the Word file and EndNote, coming back in, and then updating the bibliography will also fix it. Usually after a couple of those times it'll work. And sometimes I've changed it in EndNote and as soon as I came over to Word it was already fixed. So play with that and see what works best for you. So again, it's always a good idea to check all your references before you turn in a paper.